soul food, jazzy, hip hop, you know, everything you think of. It's gonna be an eclectic album, trust me. Got a lot of people working with me as well, sick musicians, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make this happen. 2011, watch out. Well, basically, music has been a big part of me, you know what I'm saying? Like, since I was a kid. You know, like my mum, my mum's a singer, my dad is a big fan of music, you know, and I've been around music since I've been growing up, since I can remember, you know, I can remember playing, uh, playing Happy Birthday to you as, a, as the first tune I learned on the keyboard, you know, and that was a keyboard that was, I was like, it's funny because um, the, key, the keyboard belongs to my cousin, my cousin's dad, and he, he used to like play, he was an organist in the church as well and his son was a keyboardist as well and he was the one kind of teaching me a little bit and that's how I started obviously showing a lot of interest into music and saying, I uh, like thinking that, oh, you know what, I want to really do this, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, music is big. For music, my dad listens to a lot of like, you know, different kind of stuff, you know. I grew up around music, I had, uh, what's it called? Uh, music videos being taped for me when I was young. You know what I'm like my dad always taped me little music videos for me when I was young from MTV and all of that. And I always just watch it, just watch it all the time. That used to be my main entertainment when I was young. You know? So yeah, I have a brother which is drunk as well. Though. It's cool. So, yeah, from a musical family, music has always been around. You know what I'm Influences, man, it's a lot to talk about when it comes to influences. Because um, as a kid growing up, I listened to different kind of music, you know, from high life to Afro beats to um, hip hop, soul, jazz, R and B, everything, you know. I, I, I rock as well. I listen to all kind of stuff, like sort of music. Because when I was growing up. I was obviously around parents that love music and they play me all kind of stuff. Like my mom loves Shade, my mom loves Dolly Parton, my mom loves all kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And she always plays it to me and my mom used to sing to me as well, which is cool. And um, obviously, because I was really interested in music and everything I hear, I just always obviously, I don't know, I just have like a little place I store in my head, I guess whereby everything is just there and obviously it comes out when he wants to, you know, so you, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, influences, I would say people that really influence me right now would be like people like D'Angelo, Maxwell, Prince, and Fiddler, um, Erica Badu, Jill Scott, Common, Most Def, Bilal, you know, all these artists, I like them a lot. It's like um, I like listening to what they do because I think they're, they're very good at what they do and they, they make really really good music and stuff so um, I tend I tend to obviously feed off them also I, I chill with musicians a lot so it's like all the musicians I chill with obviously I feed with them because obviously they listen to all kind of different kind of music as well you know I chill with my Polish guys I chill with my other friends that are musicians English guys I chill with all this different kind of ethnicity as well and I think that's a big influence on me as well because they, they have something different to bring into my life and also life has been a very very big inspiration for me because obviously 
life for me right now is uh, sometimes it's challenging and sometimes it's, it's good, sometimes it's just, you know, you have all the ups and downs and obviously I, I, I learn from all these ups and downs and all these um, trials and all tribulations of life and obviously put into my music, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's all I can say about that. Hieroglyphics, sick hip hop group. Man. You don't know about them. You need to listen to these guys. They're sick. I've got, I've got like seven o'clock. Yeah. This is great jazzist man. Sick pianist as well. Yeah. This was given to me by someone that actually I don't speak to anymore. Still, <laughs> still waiting for you to come get your vinyl. <laughs> she. I've got Nas. Nas, big album. Title. Got Marvin Gaye, you know. I love Marvin Gaye. I love it so rap, hip hop, everything. You know what I'm saying. And um, oh, yeah. Handel Messiah. Handel Messiah. You don't know about Handel Messiah? Then you don't know music. This is big. You know the famous Hallelujah chorus? Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, on this album, man. She just blows my mind, you know what I'm saying? She blows my mind. She's amazing. She's been one of my great influences since I was a kid. My mom loved listening to her, you know what I'm saying? Sick. Shade, I love you. Well, I've got the chance to work with a lot of people. Like, you know, I started producing music in 2006. You know, that was, that was the time I actually made up my mind and saying that I want to do music and I want to produce music. And, uh, I remember when I was a kid and my dad, I used to tell my dad that I hear a lot of sounds in my head. And um, he just used to tell me, you know what son, you need to write it down, you know what I'm saying? And I made that decision in 2006 that I want to start producing music. You know? And I've got the chance to work with people like, you know, Sophie Paul. Sophie Paul is, she's very talented, individual. Very, very good vocalist. Uh, we did a track together called Another Late Night. Uh, got a chance to work with people like uh, KB. He's a very good friend of mine, you know. Very, very talented as well. He's a very good writer. I got a chance to work with John Hope. A good rapper from America. Was that, that was a bit funny actually because uh, <laughs> uh, getting to work with John Hope was quite funny because uh, I got introduced to John Hope through a girl I used to know. But well, obviously things have kind of changed now, so like working with John Hope might not be something that might happen in the future. But it's been it's been a good run, and I really you know obviously I wish John Hope and whatever he, he, he's doing right now, I wish him good luck, and I wish um, the girl as well, and I wish you know them really, really, uh, what's it called, good, um, good luck, anyway, um, <laughs> um, also, um, you know, I work with some of my Polish guys as well, doing a rap album with the Polish guys, it's quite good, they're called IMV, you should check them out on YouTube, they're quite cool, and um, yeah, I'm doing most of the production on the album, doing a bit of singing on chorus as well, you know, I work with people like Pai Famous, I work with people like, um, I work with people like Z. Yeah, I remember Z. Z, Z is a very, very. Um, he's French and is um, he's, uh, he's, he's. I like his style. I like the way he raps. I've done quite a few tracks with him as well, which is cool. I work with people like DJ Mika Sims. I'm working with people like DJ Mika Sims at the moment, producing something a bit different. You know, a bit of jazz, housey. You know, vibe going on. I can't wait for that to be released actually. Really sick. Working with great musicians like I work with people like Blake Mustin, work with people like Jack Loudon, work with people like Joe Newman. There's good musicians and people that are actually obviously quite willing to experiment when it comes to music because I see music as something you can't really you don't have a formula for it, you know? You need to be you need to be very like I don't know, very, very like experimental because I like I like to be experimental with music. You 
can't be, you can't you can't be very very you can't you can't treat music as a it's a formula for music, you know. So yeah, those are those those are the kind of work I've done. Also, I play keyboard for Grace Grace Obika. Yeah, I'm a keyboardist. Yeah, Grace Obika is Lemar's cousin. <laughs> yeah, it's quite fun. It's quite a big project as well. I'm producing for other various artists as well. And you would you would see it in the future. You see most of the work in the future because they're gonna be released anyway. I started with Reason, started using Reason, Reason 4, I remember, actually Reason 3, I started using Reason 3, and after a while, obviously, I got introduced to Pro Tools by a guy called Wesu, Wesu Wallace, I remember when he was, uh, he showed me how to use Pro Tools briefly, and uh, from there, I just obviously started making, you know, creating my own ideas, and obviously, I'm still learning. That's the way I see it. I'm still learning. And, and that's the beauty of it because every time I go on Pro Tools and every time I go on Reason or something like that, I learn a new thing. I learn a new thing every time. So it's like, and I can see that in my, um, in my productions, like compared to 2006 and what I'm producing now, it's, it's, there's a big difference, you know? There's a very big difference in what I'm doing now and what I did back in the days. And that's because obviously I've learned so much and obviously um, I've um, taken the time to experiment as well because um, you can't be close-minded when you're making music. It's very, very important. You can't be, very, you can't be close-minded. You need to open up your mind and that's the way you learn. And that's the way you, um, that's the way you acquire knowledge and knowledge is power. So, uh, yeah, it's been cool. I'm looking forward to buy other equipment stuff. I'd like to get an NPC, for example just to see how it works. <laughs>
my album is gonna be tied to the journals. Well, I, I don't really want to call it an album because it's like um, I would say it's like a collection of most of my work. But at the same time, it, it's, it's I'm keeping it like a 13 track, obviously, including some skits from my friend um, KB as well. So um, I think those are the tracks that I. I can release and I can let people listen to and I think they're good enough for people to listen to and that's why I want to do that, I just want to have something to show for all these years, you know, that I've been working. The album is going to be featuring people like Sophie Paul, people like John Hope, Pine Famous, Americans, um, people like Caroline um, McGoldrick, people like Jack Loudon, and some vocals and one of the funk tracks we did. Um, people like KB did a lot with me as well. Habib, you know, and me as well, doing some vocals and uh, not just producing. Yeah, I tend to see myself as an artist more than a producer because uh, I sing as well. Passion. <laughs> um, <partially. laughs> um, also, it's going to include. Um, instrumentations for some of the musicians I work with as well producing the album. Obviously most of the album, most of the tracks in the album are live instrumentations from from instruments, you know. Because I always like to keep the feeling in my music. I always like to keep the feeling of obviously musicians playing the instrument instead of obviously, you know, because you have computer music whereby most of the things just cut and paste and you have, you know, where people are just jamming and you know, there's some arrangements to it and stuff. And yeah, I like to keep that in the music as well. So people like Joe Newman, people like Jack Loudon, obviously doing a lot of bass on some of the tracks. Joe, Joe Newman playing the guitars on the tracks. People like Nina Gomia, you know, playing guitars on some of the tracks as well. So yeah, just um, there's a lot of people involved in this in this uh, project, you know. And I um, can't wait. I can't wait for you to hear it. Yeah, can't wait for you to hear it. It's gonna be released free online. Don't worry. So you don't have to worry about paying for anything, you know, you get it for free. This is gonna come on, come on, let's see. It's one love out here, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? Same struggle, different nationalities, one music. We got it going. Go back to the here, that's why you word, do it. Word, word, word. I don't even know what word means. <laughs> yep, yep. That's like cousins, man. Mr. Abs! Yo. What's happening? No What's bad. happening? AKA producer. And AKA music man. AKA music man. And AKA actor. Yeah. 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 And AKA. You've yeah. already taken off your jacket, your shirt. Next thing, take off your singlet. It's AKA everybody. President of Nigeria. In the slums and the people that are on the streets just living like bums. You got abs on the keys, please just continue to play. Cause that type of good music sets our minds free. It's the only change we have for this society. So create more unity with the positive music. It's nice making. Though everything we're doing, we're not faking. And the way I'm freestyling, but you can't degrade it. The message that I'm stressing, and I'm just simply confessing the way we gotta try our best to bring real music back into this fucking industry. Cause all these cats. Well, basically, plans for 2011 is obviously to improve myself as a musician. Obviously, obviously keep on doing the work I'm doing. Put a lot of work in still, because I think there's still a lot of work to be done. You know, hard work always pays off. You know what I'm saying? And I can see that now, because obviously, because of the work I've done back in the days, and a lot of people are starting to appreciate it now, which is cool. Like, I like that. So all that is telling me is I just need to keep on the hard work. You know, obviously promote myself more, obviously putting myself out there more, you know what I'm saying? Like just getting to get known, of course, and obviously work with obviously um, various artists and also improve myself as a musician, you know? 
because obviously there's a lot of things I still have to learn. And um, the way I see it is I'm going to keep on learning till I die. Music is very, very, very... Uh, you can't finish music, let's just put it that way. You need to... No one, no one can come to me and tell me. If anybody comes to you and say, oh yeah, I've just, I've just actually finished music, <laughs> that's impossible. <laughs> even the greats, even Mozart and Beethoven and all of that, they, they nah, <laughs> they can't say that. And they're great, so yeah. I'm looking forward to 2011. It's gonna be a lot of big things happening. You know? There's a lot of plans going on and there's gonna be a big, they're gonna be, let's just put it that way. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be big. Big plans, big things. Yeah, we've got some gizzards here. I'm saying, some chicken, you know. You gotta have to cook properly. I'm saying. Because you are what you eat. Yeah, I love cooking. Cook all sorts of shit. Can't wait. Let's go. space because there's still more to come but until then i like to say bye for now and in polish nada and in spanish hasta luego italian arrivederci peace peace